setbacks you've seen or faced or because he carries the ball like 40 times a game. Yeah, like that. That's not easy, you know, to carry the ball at that many times. And he, he keeps he keeps going on. You know, he just one one arm tackle is not going to get him down. He's going to keep running. He's going to keep plays alive. And you know, he has real heart. So we just got to make sure you know we contain him and and um, tackle tackle well and everything because it's not going to be an easy game. He's not going to be an easy guy to tackle because he is an excellent you know running back. Sure. So six weeks in the season, you're even in a linebacker. It's now your job, absolutely, no doubt. Um, what's it? Has it been different than your expectations? Have you handled it better or, or as, a, as well as you thought you would? I mean, everyone was like, the linebackers are the question coming into the season. Yeah. How have you guys, in you particular, felt like you've done so far? I feel like us as a whole, you know, linebacker core has done, you know, what we've always done, you know, here since I've been here from my experience. We study hard, you know, we work hard in practice and the results show on the field. So I truly feel like it's because we work so hard and we're really, truly dedicated. That's, that's why, you know, our and our standards are so high or why we achieve, you know, the heights that we are right now. But, you know, we still have more work to be done. Mm -hmm. We still got a lot of little things to clean up. But, you know, we're heading in the right direction, I feel like. For sure. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. No, I... Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, no problem. We talked about Bishop Sankey. Uh, Coach Alper said earlier in the week that he's put on some uh, some confidence weight. Do you see him with one, one a little bit more authority this year than he did last year? Yeah, definitely. I feel like, you know, the entire, you know, Washington offense is, is totally different. I feel like they have, you know, more confidence in themselves. I feel like they really worked on the offseason, you know, and they're a really elite team, you know. And so they're, they're really out there working, you know. Uh, I can tell they're getting better each and every week. And I, I know we got to bring our A game, you know, in order to, to beat them. How much of that stems, uh, you talk about the, the offense, the whole offense playing with confidence, stems from Keith Price sort of having this bounce back season. What have, what have you seen from him that changed? I feel like he's, you know, he's more of a leader. You know, I feel like people probably really, truly look up to him. He, he's, uh, he's doing great right now. He's probably worked, you know, extremely hard during the uh, off season. He's, he's been working really hard. I could tell his game has improved. Uh, his completions are, you know, phenomenal. So we've got to make sure we bring our A games, you know, to get this W. What, where do you... When you watch film from this year compared to last year, do you see a huge difference uh, in, in price and, and the offense? Going yeah, I, I, see, I see more speed. I see more speed. Um, I see uh, the coaches are, you know, they're scheming very well. I can tell they're getting more smarter. You know, they've been hitting the books and everything like that. So we've got to make sure, you know, we run to the ball, have our eyes wide, and, you know, make tackles. And I feel like we should be, you know, pretty well. People talking about the tempo, how they're trying to mirror your guys' offense. Yeah. So practicing against the, these guys, do you feel like uh, you you guys are better prepared to maybe handle this faster Washington offense, so to speak? Well, yeah, like um, Cal, you know, they're, they're really fast, and I feel like we handle that pretty well. And uh, we go against our offense each and every day, you know, for like for years. So, I f and they're one of the fastest, you know, in the nation. I feel like we handle that really extremely well. So, I feel like, you know, if, if, if it's the same in the game, we should handle that well, just like we do in practice. For you guys, obviously, with, with uh, a mobile quarterback like Price who can extend plays with his legs, containment is a huge deal, but you guys want to keep the pass for us. What are the keys to sort of containment? How, like, obviously, reading your keys right. Yeah, basically, it's reading your keys right and flying to the ball. You know, don't try to do another person's job. Just do your job, and then everything should work out. Everyone has, you know, their own piece of the puzzle, and when all the pieces are working together, you know, we, we have that perfect picture. Last one for you. People talking about this rivalry, top of the team matchup. You guys are going on the road at 1-9 straight. How, how aware are you guys? You know, as, as a locker room of this rivalry and kind of what it means to the North. We West. we truly, you know, don't don't believe in rivalries. You know, we have fictitious opponents, and we really truly just go out there and play our games. Doesn't matter who it is, we're gonna give it our best effort, no matter who it is. We don't really focus on those outside influences. We just truly just go out there and try to do our best on, um, you know, any given day and any given game.